Hello, it's Nikki. How you doing? I've got a challenge for you today, which on the outside might make you laugh and uh, <laughs> might be like, um, oh no, maybe I do that. Um, you know that I'm a storyteller. I trained as an actor. I love writing. I love films, telly, books. Uh, I use storytelling a lot in my coaching. And what I also find is many other people do that. But one thing that I hear a lot is the same story. The same the same words, the same sentences, that I was nothing and now I'm this, um, the same aesthetic, the, it, it's all, it has this kind of hidden uniform that is just the same. And what happens when that, those stories are told, I actually switch off because I, I don't like a story where I can necessarily guess the ending where I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then now you're making six figures or now you're doing this or they just use the same kind of words. So here's my challenge for you today. Tell stories, speak your truth, share what you know, but don't just tell the stories where you look good. Don't just tell the stories that make you the hero and you just you know, come out as being this empowered, slightly smug, brilliant person. I want you to do the opposite. Now, obviously, you know what's right for you. You know what you're willing to share, what feels safe for you. We're not about just opening ourselves up on the internet willy-nilly with no thought or consideration. That's not what this is about. But I encourage you to tell me the bits that went wrong along the way or your biggest learnings, or your thing that comes around again and again, where you're like, oh, there it is again. There it is again. I thought I'd handled this. I thought I'd sorted this. Tell me about those difficult conversations that you've had. Tell me about those times where you couldn't make a decision. Those sorts of conversations will start to bring people in, because those are the things that people want to hear when they're trying to make a decision. If the fantasy land is so far away, it's almost like, I guess, the Disney princess. I've never really related to those because they just seem like a fantasy land away <laughs> where I'm like, yeah, I, I, that, that's not my life. Or I feel like that happened in the olden days, I guess, the olden days with, with Hollywood where people just felt untouchable and just didn't feel real. And we've really seen a shift over the last few years of celebrities talking about mental health, people giving us behind the scenes um, moments, people doing much more candid interviews where they have full ownership of them sharing their story. So it's important as business owners, as creators, as storytellers, that we do a bit more of that as well. Because ultimately, we need to see ourselves in other people. We need to know that whatever that person is promising or sharing or providing the solution for, we hope that if we did that thing too, or if we worked with them, that we would then get the same result. So as much as it might be tempting, to show the glossy, highlighted, real version of yourself and just talk about the great, brilliant things. This is not a job interview. This is about building connections, building relationships, and really being in conversation with other people, really going deep in the work. There are so many times in speaking gigs, for example, where I've done a Q and I, Q and I, Q and A. Um, never been on QI. Um, a Q and A at the end, and sometimes I'll get into real deep conversation with somebody and start to do some coaching with somebody, and all, obviously that is all with permission and um, having that right comfort level. But there's been really beautiful moments where sometimes I've felt personally the tears come up. And of course, I would be very professional in that um, 
moment and not just break down and cry on stage um, and just be there as the coach for that person. But we've had that connection because there's been some truth in there. There's been a sense of understanding and vulnerability and somebody being willing to have another go or try or to stop something once and for all or whatever it might be. Just a little takeaway today. I want you to see if you can try it and see what feels good. Also, there might be a sliding scale of these kinds of stories. So you may want not want to do the 10 out of 10, let me tell you all the gory details, you know, like somebody selling their story to a newspaper where they slag everybody off and they tell the truth, my truth. You might not want to do that version. You can do it in a really lovely manner where you share, but you share from a protected place not only of the other people involved but you can take responsibility you can share your own learnings in that process without exposing anybody else I would love to know what came up for you today it's a really really interesting one if you want help with your storytelling the best place to go is your personal brand plan which is under the program section of my website go to nikkiraby.com forward slash programs and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.